Hello everyone, it's Shane Conto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the Peanut Butter Falcon. And I remember seeing this trailer for this film directed by Tyler Nilsson and Michael Schwartz about this young man who has Down syndrome who wants to become a pro wrestler and meets up with Shia LaBeouf, is being followed by the nurse from the from the worker of the nursing home that he lives at, played by Dakota Johnson, and thinking, this could be a really fun, endearing film. This defied my expectations. This really deserves all that buzz and attention that it's getting, which also, check out, I'll be writing a special awards buzz article on Sif Pop specifically about this, and some of the things that stuck out to me that I think deserve some awards recognition when awards season's coming up soon, only a couple months. But this was a great film, and it does a lot of things great. There's there's legitimate tension and some scenes where it's, like, hard to watch. There's some really funny scenes. There's a lot of charming performances and uh, chemistry and charisma in this film from the cast. And there's some really endearing emotional moments. And I think the big thing is... Looking at our two characters that you spend the most time with, obviously Zach, who's the main character, played by Zach Godsagan, um, he does a great job, and he's endearing. They treat him with respect in this script, which I think is really good, and it's endearing, and you care about his journey, and there's moments where he's so super excited, he's a little rebel, and he gets some help with his roommate, played by Bruce Dern, at the nursing home. And he's great, and their interactions are great. And there's moments where you really get to feel like he's afraid or nervous. And he does a really fine job with his performance. And then there's Shia LaBeouf, who does a fantastic job in this film. He has moments where he's really charming, he's very vulnerable. And his relationship all through flashbacks, which has no audio, of him and his older brother, John Bernthal... They're so endearing, and you really feel that connection, and these flashbacks are meaningful in the moment and in the story. And those are how flashbacks should really be. And it's show-don't-tell. You get to see that relationship, really. And it dictates his budding friendship, and basically him becoming an older brother to Zack in this film. And that's such an endearing relationship. It's the heart of this film. And being a wrestling fan, I thought it was fun seeing, like, Jake the Snake Roberts and Mick Foley in this, and then having the whole pro wrestling idea and Thomas Hayden Church playing the saltwater redneck. And John Hawks is in it, too. He doesn't get used very well. He's just supposed to be like, I'm an angry and violent redneck, and that's basically it. And, like, John Bernthal's only in those flashback scenes where you don't even get to hear him talk, but he can feel that relationship and he sells it, Shia LaBeouf sells it, Dakota Johnson does a fine job in this film. Overall, this is a wonderful film. One of my favorites of the year so far. This has been a great week, legitimately, for films getting to see Loose and Blinded by the Light and now the Peanut Butter Falcon and this film could have been really si silly, it could have been offensive, but the thing is, they were able Nilsson and Schwartz were able to create such a great script and direct this so well. Cinematography works really well. There's some overhead shots of particular scenes of walking or swimming across a river that are striking. And the music is really well done too and really captures this Outer Banks setting in North Carolina for this film. I loved it. I love this film so much. I'd highly recommend it for anybody. This is a great film. There's hard-to-watch moments, there's emotional moments, there's funny moments. It has everything. It hits all of those boxes and is a really well-rounded film. Go check out The Peanut Butter Falcon and let me know. Comment. Let's talk some movies. And thank you, as always, for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.